This is a tutorial on how to um, put, how to build a buyer's list in your MailChimp. So you're going to go to MailChimp and you're going to log in. MailChimp.com and you're going to log in. I don't even know my login stuff. Okay, so this is what you do. You're, you get to your, mine's going to look a little bit different than yours, but for the most part, it's going to be the same. So you're going to come up here to lists. You're going to create a list and you're going to create a list. And then that's pretty much it. <laughs> you want to name, title your list. You can title it buyer's list. You can put, this is, this is the email it's going to come from. So if you, what, you're going to enter your email address that you created for your business. Right. So let's just, your business email address can be um, mybusiness at gmail.com. Default name, you're going to put your name in there. You are going to... You can say this, um, you can um, write a short reminder about how, you know, you, this is how they, how you got their email address. You can say, you have expressed interest in real estate at some point. Just say something easy. And then you can edit this. Our stuff's in there, but you can edit, put your actual address. I would put a PO box in there. Um... And that's it. And you're going to hit save. And now you've created this list. And now you're going to, you can import contacts. Or you can create a sign up form. That's a little bit, I'm not going to go into all that today. Um, or you can actually start to we'll click on lists. You can come down here. Where's my new list? This is my buyers list. And you click on this button right here, the add button. I see. So you're going to add email address. First name, last name, if you have additional details, you can, if you've got their phone number, you can add that as well. And then you can hit, I always check both of these and then I click subscri subscribe. The first one says they gave me permission, which if they're putting their email address on a public forum, that's permanent permission enough for me. And if um, the second one is if they're already on your list, I want you to just go ahead and update the profile. So don't, that, that way you don't have multiple people on your list with the same email address. So that's it. That's your tutorial on how to create your buyers list.